Ah, bridges, don't you love them? I'd like to introduce you today to a brand new kit that just came out, put out by my good friends at the Hunter Line Company. It's a 170 foot Howe truss bridge. These bridges could be found all over the US and Canada at about the turn of the century. And this is a great kit. So let me introduce you. These Hunter Line kits come with a whole bunch of little packets of wood. At first it's very intimidating because, well, you got a whole pile of sticks that you're supposed to put together. But the Hunter Line Company gives you exceedingly detailed directions and blueprint type lay down sheets which you can build your kit right on top of. Exceedingly accurate and exceedingly helpful. I put double sided tape right on these blueprints to build on top of. And of course, any good kit with lots of wood bits is going to require a chopper too. This is a wonderful tool for repetitive accurate cuts. So once you tape the first layer on, you just start building from the first layer and build up from there. It's really easy and consistent. What's great about these blueprints is they show you exactly which bit goes in which place. As long as you're paying attention and looking at the size of the wood you're supposed to use at that spot, everything goes together perfectly. Ah, handy helpers. You gotta have lots of handy helpers around. I always have clips and weights and rubber bands and all kinds of stuff. Of course you want to make sure everything is smooth and clean before you go to the next piece. Probably the single most important aspect of this kit is to get these back supports in the exact right place. If you don't, the rest of the kit will not go together correctly. It's now time for all the cross bracing. Notice how the blueprint shows you exactly where what piece goes and in what order. As you put this together, make sure that the bridge stays square and plumb or else it won't look right when you get done with it. Next come these side supports and of course you want to be very, very careful about making sure that the bridge is true and square. After you get those in place, well, you put that deck that you made earlier right on in there and glue it on. All of a sudden, the bridge starts looking like something. I love all these sub-assemblies. Now comes the hard part. you got to drill all these silly holes to put the metal rods back and forth. I ended up buying a power drill to do this work. And of course, once you drill the holes, you got to put these rods through the holes. And it's really, well, it's time consuming. Let's call it that. It's a little frustrating but when it's done, it looks great. Well, there you have your 170 foot how truss bridge, and it came out just amazing. What I used to color it was stain in my spray booth. You can color by your choice, of course, but this came out really nice. Well, here's a few nice shots of the completed bridge. Certainly if you like bridges like I do, you're always looking for something new to build. Have a look at the Hunterline Company website. See their full line of bridges in multiple scales. If you're anything like me, you'll be glad you started building these Hunterline kits. So have fun. Come back and join me again sometime. <laughs>